decided to try a single displacement reaction today with hydrochloric acid and aluminum foil. And so we're doing a couple things to keep this safe. We're wearing rubber gloves. I'm going to hold the flask. And this recreates the Hindenburg disaster. We know the Hindenburg was filled with hydrogen gas. And we want to break apart hydrochloric acid by using the catalyst aluminum foil. And that aluminum foil is going to release pure hydrogen gas. And so here's our aluminum foil. We want to see class if this is exothermic or endothermic. Does it release heat? And so the procedure for this is simply to drop your aluminum foil into your flask and cover it with a balloon because we want to see if that gas will fill the balloon and if it creates heat. So I'm going to walk over here and I'm just going to let you guys see this. And right now the balloon is not inflated, is it? No. Okay, and I'm looking at that aluminum foil and that aluminum foil is gonna start to cause a reaction. Now, how do you feel the flask right now? Does it feel hot or cold? Cold. Yeah, nothing's happened yet, has it? Hot or cold? Cold. Okay, so we would say it's not exothermic yet. Nothing's happening. Look at my balloon. Is my balloon changing? What's happening to the balloon? It's getting Yeah, it's changing. Oh, it's so cold though. Okay, all right, come over here. I want everyone to feel the flask and tell me if this is exothermic or endothermic. Look at that balloon, it's starting to inflate. Exothermic or endothermic, what do you think? Is it getting warm? I'm feeling heat with my gloves on. Is it getting warm? Okay, look at my balloon, balloon's inflating. Exothermic or endothermic? Exothermic. Exothermic if you feel heat. Do you feel any heat? Yeah. Look at that balloon. I see the balloon's inflating. Oh, wow. Is it getting hotter? What's happening to the aluminum foil? Is the aluminum foil getting smaller? It's hot, isn't it? Here's my balloon. It's inflating. Exothermic or endothermic. Does it feel warm to the touch? Okay, now. Hydrogen, hydrogen is in the balloon, and this is just like the Hindenburg, and it can get kind of smelly, so I'm going to turn on our fume hood here, and we're going to put this in the fume hood just to get up that residual hydrogen. So look at, look at our aluminum foil. Do you see the aluminum foil is almost gone? So what's happening here is you're breaking apart hydrogen from hydrochloric acid. And that gas is going up into the balloon. This is a single displacement reaction. And it gives off heat, so we would say it's exothermic. Good job, you guys.